Well, finally found first ice up north in northern Wisconsin, and today I wanted to walk through the entire lineup that ACC Crop Sticks has to offer in terms of their ice rods. Um, they got four models. The new model that came out this year was the 26 inch. Previous models that they had were the 28, 30 and a half, and 32. I'm gonna show you how I got them rigged up and kind of why I use them in different situations. So first we got the brand new 26 inch model that ACC Crop 6 came out with this year, uh, shorter than the other models that we had. So if you're fishing in like a one man shack or if you're fishing in one of the portable shacks with like three or four people, you don't really need that 30, 32 inch rod. The 26 inch rod is a lot more compact. It's a lot easier to fish out of a shack with it. This is great for your bluegill setup. Um, again, got that super sensitive tip, but plenty of backbone. If you do hook into a, a walleye or a bass, you can definitely put it on the ice with this. Um, they got a couple different handle models that they have. This is actually the, the real seat model that they have, but they, all, but they also have their super grip model, which for those of you that don't like real seats, you can just use the rod bands like on this model here. Um, it's just a great way to kind of slide your reel up and down based on your preference on the rod handle. Um, I typically like running the inline reels with this type of setup. Again, I'm, I'm mostly fishing for crappie bluegill uh, with this smaller rod in a shack. You're probably not fishing deep water right now, this time of year, early ice. You're probably fishing 10, 12, maybe 15 feet, whatever the deepest weed edge that you can find. Um, so you don't really need something that can drop down 40 feet of water. The inline reel with this setup is great. I'm running three pound uh, monofilament ice line and then just a little 32nd ounce tungsten jig. But that is the 26 inch uh, rod by ACC Crappie Sticks. Again, it's a great compact rod for inside the ice shack. Now we're gonna step up to the 28 inch rod that ACC offers. This one has a little bit more backbone. It definitely still has a sensitive tip, but as you can tell, the backbone goes much further towards the rod tip. Uh, this one I actually prefer jigging lipless crankbait spoons because it's got a little bit bigger of a backbone. Uh, it can handle that, the lipless jig, the spoon, maybe the jigging wrap type of setup. Um, on this setup, I actually am running six pound braid to a four pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, which is a little lipless crankbait. Uh, I'm running the PC Fun Viper X, the 500 size reel for this. Again, any type of jigging rod setup where you're using a harder bait, lipless crankbaits, spoons, uh, jigging wraps, spinning reel, and then the 28 inch rod. And then they do have both models, the Super Grip, which is just the rod bands, as you can see on this model, or they have the real seat, if you prefer that one as well. But that's the 28 inch rod for ACC Crappie Sticks. Stepping up a little bit bigger, this was actually the very first model that ACC Crappie Sticks came out with. This is the 30 and a half inch rod. Uh, this is a great hybrid of just small jigs or just a dead stick rod. I primarily use this as a dead stick, whether you're using this for some sort of iFish Pro setup or a tip down rig, that's actually what I'm doing today is using these on tip downs. These are great dead stick rods for both crappie, bluegill, walleye, bass. Um, Again, plenty of backbone, but it definitely loads up with the rod tip so you can fight some bigger fish um, if you do want to use this as a dead stick rod for walleye. Right now I'm actually running a six pound monofilament, just a, I think there's a 16th ounce tungsten jig and a PC Fun Carbon X 500 size spinning reel for this setup. Right now I'm, I'm going after some bigger bluegill and crappie on the lake here. Uh, but this is just a great rod tip downs and your iFish Pro setups. And last but certainly not least, this is by far my favorite rod of the entire ice lineup. This is the 32 inch rod. Again, super sensitive rod tip, plenty of backbone. Uh, this rod I prefer using some, anything from a small jig to me, even just a smaller jigging spoon or a really small lipless crankbait, like a 16th ounce lipless or a 16th ounce spoon. Uh, this is my go-to everyday crappie and bluegill rod. I love it. Um, got it paired with an inline reel. This is the PC Fun Ice X Frost reel running three pound monofilament ice line. And then right now I'm going with a 16th ounce tungsten jig. Um, this is actually the run and gun rod that I'm using today. Uh, just kind of doing some hole hopping while I wait for some of these tip downs to go off. Um, again, they got two different seats or two different rod handle models, the real seat uh, which is the cork that screws into it. And then they have the super grip model as well if you prefer to use uh, the bands to actually attach your reel. So that is the ACC Crappie Sticks ice rod lineup. 
Um, I love these rods. Check them out. I'll leave a link to all of them in the video description. If you've already purchased them, because these have been out for probably four or five years now, if you've already purchased one of these, let me know in the comment section what you think of them and what species you're chasing after with the ice rods. Appreciate you watching. Good luck on the ice this year. Stay safe. Always have your ice picks with you, especially for early ice and either a float suit or some sort of life jacket. So good luck on the ice this year. We'll see you in the next one.